Hi, I'm Malcolm. And I'm Rachel. We're two Canadians living on our 39-foot main ship trawler, living an adventure of a lifetime. We invite you to follow along as we travel 6,000 miles through Canadian and U.S. waterways around America's Great Loop. Good morning, we just left our bay in Bay Springs Lake and I've already entered the Witten Lock. We were just waiting for a barge to go through and there are eight boats in here. Uh, we've tied up with a floating bollard at the midship and uh, we are at the far back of the lock on the starboard side. So we'll be one of the last ones to exit, which is fine by us because we're going a shorter distance today. Um, so all we have to do now is just make sure that the boat doesn't rub against the wall. We have our fenders out, so that will help and let's see how long it takes to go down this lock. So we're in the Witten lock, there are eight boats and the doors are still open and the lock master just came on his radio and told us all that he's leaving the doors open because there's another boat southbound and we'll join our little group uh, probably about half an hour from now. We looked on the AIS to see if we could see it and it looks a little ways out. So about half an hour wait and that's exactly why we allow about an hour to go through these locks because there's always going to be some sort of delay. Sometimes much longer than an hour but we sort of budget that time. Sometimes faster, sometimes longer. We've just completed the Witten Lock and we were nine boats in total. The lock master had us all enter and there was one boat that was uh, coming down the lake so he waited for that boat to be added to our little group. Um, so we waited maybe 20-30 minutes for him to come down. He was a fast boat so he came pretty quickly. And then we descended I think about 50 feet roughly 
and have now exited and we are all going approximately the same speed because we have two more locks to go through well at least we do maybe other boats will go farther and the lock master will wait for all of us so there's no reason to go quickly if somebody does go ahead quickly they're just going to have to wait for the rest of us so we've all completed the first lock and are proceeding down farther along the Tenton. That guy just came by, asked us how we're doing. We told him we're great, we're happy that the sun is out, and he's just going around making sure everybody's secure. He told us it's a 30 foot drop, so it's not a very big drop here. So far this lock has only taken 15 minutes, probably about 20 by the time we get out. So this one was much faster and this is the Montgomery lock. that we're going to start lowering. We're going down in the Rankin Lock and uh, this is our last lock for today. It's not going super fast but that's good and the next stop will be I think it's called Midway Marina where we're going to stop tonight 
and it's only been a few hours but because it's pretty hot today actually the sun is out it's about 25 degrees celsius and 90 percent humidity so it feels kind of like 30 degrees celsius i don't know what that is in in uh so i think it's the low 80s in fahrenheit that's what it feels like so it's a lot hotter than it has been the last few days so we're actually ready to have a little break and stop and go on land and maybe go for a walk <laughs> report for the bridge for today. Um, we are entering somewhat new territory for ourselves. We're going due south and it's getting hot, which is kind of nice. The, uh, the landscape has changed, the trees have changed, and we're also in a group of 10 boats. We're all heading down south to try and uh, get to the Gulf. So today um, we're still probably about 10 or 12 days away from getting down there, maybe a bit more. Um, but we're making good progress. Right now we're running at around 7.8 knots and we're just over 1800 RPM. So that's a, that's, that's a good combination for us. We're going to be pulling into a marina tonight. Um, hopefully we just need to get a little, try to get a battery actually, to be honest, for um, our generator just in case we need it. Um, and there's a few other little things we're hoping to get if we can. And then tomorrow we head back on the river and we go through more locks and then there'll be anchorages for a couple of days until we get to Columbus. So we've planned out the next couple of days. Uh, weather has improved, so obviously it's sunny and that's really good because we had a couple of gray days there. So I think uh, all in all, a great day. We're right on schedule and that is the report from the bridge.